guys. This is Kick in the Fire again. Um, again with a new recipe. I think you know, yes, I'm gonna start to walk outside, sorry. This is Kick in the Fire again, and again with a new recipe. Uh, you probably see most of the ingredients, but we're missing something today, something what uh, we never done in this. Um, we normally use the fish or meat in our recipes, but this time, Gonna stay without it at all, and um, today's the dish. It should it's supposed to be really summer dish. It comes from country where I come from, from Lithuania originally. But it, it, people eat in different countries as well. Not only they put something in extras, or you know, it's different colors, different ingredients. But cold soups apparently. I have to try to say it in shorter way. It's gonna be the cold soup today. Uh, I don't know, English people, I heard it's called cold beetroot soup. In my country it's called shaltibarshe. It's very difficult to pronounce for you guys, but um, it's uh, one of the top cold soups in uh, the main um, websites if you follow on your internet. And if you see the, that Spanish got a very good tomato cold soup, but, but us, like Lithuanians, we're very proud we got a better one. Thing. And ours, uh, I would say ours is probably healthier. So, anyway, oh my god, I, I speak too much, I think, already, isn't it? <laughs> my wife behind the camera says, Yeah, okay. So, let's start. What we're gonna need for that, obviously, you need to put your soup somewhere. Oh, actually, it's gonna be first recipe without a, completely without the fire, without the heat. Oh, just, just one thing with, with the heat, but yeah. So kick is on soup today. Right, bowl, uh, then, uh, right, where is everything? Right, what we're gonna start from, we have to have um, beetroot, because it's called beetroot soup, so logically, beetroot. Uh, you guys, when you're gonna buy in a shop uh, pickled, try to find uh, not too strong pickled. I don't know how to explain it, but it's uh, some of them are too much vinegar into it. So if you're gonna buy something like this, you're gonna have to use less or mix up like I do, for example. Mine is medium, you know, vinegar. So I just uh, put uh, this in, okay? And then another half, I just use simple boiled beetroot without anything, they're quite sweet. So that will balance your pickle, you know, with seed and it's gonna be okay. So, oh, not this one, sorry guys. Now, so we're gonna have them cooked um, beetroot, yeah? Simple, just a cooked beetroot, great as well. So half kilogram I had uh, of pickle, half kilogram of simply cooked, okay? Just like that. Honestly, very, very quick soup. And that's the best refreshment in a hot summer day. And, um, you know, I normally, in our countries, we just, we just use it loads and loads and loads. But um, what not always easy to find, especially in England, you can find in uh, shops in, um, where they're selling Eastern European uh, uh, ingredients. Uh, kefir, that's an ingredient what you have to have. Huh? That's fermented milk ingredient. That's, uh, a lot of people say it's very healthy, you know probiotics and all that stuff. I don't know much about it, but it's just, that's what it says on the package, you know, but it's tasty as well. So, uh, some of them use uh, buttermilk and all, but sometimes you, I don't norm, mix up with the normal milk as well to make it thinner, because sometimes it can be too thick, like a, like a cold, not soup, but stew. <laughs> so, okay, beetroot is ready. Now, like I said, kefir. Yeah, two liters of, uh, we use, like trying to find natural. You know, we we take what we got in the shop. Not, it's not that, you know, not always we got some on the shelves. So you put that in, one liter and uh, two liters. Oh, okay. And now, now, guys, most of you are gonna think, wow, what's this? I know, because my wife is Polish. She, she not, I mean, she had to, she couldn't understand that soup, never. But, but most of the people really does. So, okay, 
let's continue. Right, I've got some cucumber. As always, uh, I done it, prepared it already, but I'll show you how I cut it. Just take a cucumber, okay? I got it very long, so two cucumbers I used for that, okay? So it's just simple as well, okay? Simple like that. Cucumbers, they, very good to get them um, carved and cucumbers, you know? We we growing some in our allotment. Obviously, my in-laws growing more than us with my wife, but we get we get them at home. So I will show them smaller ones. They got more flavor. Right. Oh my god. Right. So okay, all our cucumber goes into our our soup. Okay, this part. Right. Another very important ingredient, but some people does, some don't. I always use it, I love with it. That's a, oh, that's a radish, yeah? As well, nothing special in a half. Okay, and then, bit, like little stripes you can do. You can leave like half like this. It's, it's totally, totally up to you guys, you know? So, dip, depends, I mean, Sometimes you can have a quite strong radish here. It can be quite strong. I don't know how to say it. Bitter or that spice here. Yeah, we got something, isn't it? So it depends. I don't mind, so I can eat in the quarters, and for me it's good. Anyway, like this, like this. So yeah, back soup again. So we put our radish in. But I've got prepared more here. So it's about 300 grams will be of radish as well. Onion, again, really, really finely chopped. Really, really, because it's not a, not a lot, just a quarter of onion, you know, to give a, give a flavor, okay? Then we need garlic as well. Two cloves, no more. Just little bit, little bit, okay? And we're nearly there. Not nearly. We still got a few things anyway. I just forgot. But but that's the longest part. I think was nearly there. Then again, depends on your. Um, uh, oh my God, beetroot. We add on. I usually add on a little bit of lemon as well. Just just one third of a lemon, okay? So, watch out for seeds. As I give that extra, extra, it should be some sort of bite, you know, that, that sour flavor. Okay, this, this, then we got uh, spring onion as well. Greener part, more than the white part, okay? Okay, and uh, black pepper, so I put a teaspoon. I always remind them, teaspoon, teaspoon, it's gonna be on uh, comments anyway. And the salt, I don't know yet, I put teaspoon, but I put teaspoon, but we will see. But again, we need to balance everything. Sugar. So, right. Now, I think we just have to add on some herbs as well. There is no cold beetroot soup or Shaltibarche without fresh dill, okay? So, and it can be quite a lot of it. So, Shaltibarche, right, okay. That's better, okay, so as well must be fine, fine cut because, you know, if it's gonna be big, you're gonna taste it. It's, as you imagine, it's not cooked or anything, so it's gonna stay as it is. So try your best to do it fine bits. Okay, so now we got uh, our parsley as well. But with this one, you watch out. Yeah, this one can be, if it's too much, not everybody like it. So it's 
all depends, you know, how much you tolerate the herbs, you know, because, for example, I love it. But as well, when it's too much of this one, this one is, gives a, that as well, you know, you will taste it. But extra flavors, what you don't want to taste. So just with dill, for example, I don't mind. It can be really, really low. But this one depends. So I will give that much and then I will check, taste, it's good, it's good. Okay, so our herbs is ready. So everything goes to our cold soup, okay? So that looks even more greener now. Sorry, just get used to show there and there. So everything looks really, really nice and green at the moment. Now, what we got to have, we have to have a, some um, hard boiled eggs as well and um, potatoes. Uh, what we done with potatoes, we took new potatoes, that size, okay, yep, so just with a skin, we cooked with a skin halfway, uh, cut it, some of them in half, some of them in the quarters, and uh, put it in with a uh, coarse salt, okay, and give it nice, nice crust, I'll show you what for we need it a bit in a second. So, okay, that part done, this part done, I will clean the eggs now. Okay, so we've got our eggs. I've got six eggs. One of them I will leave for decoration, okay? But as well, this one, you don't have to play too much. Just like this. Nice and easy, okay? I like some texture, of course, you know? You have to stay, you know, you have to, when you eat it, you have to feel it all. Oh, this is egg. But you don't have to like, mash it okay guys so eggs done as well goes everything into our pot so we're nearly nearly there mix it up everything and as you see now it's all really really thick so like i said we will add on a little bit of milk simple milk into it or just a simple water Right, okay, our soup is nearly ready, you know, I just have to give a last stir up, you know, and then check for our uh, soap, but I think that's all good. Right, I've done some potatoes uh, on the side, so this is only one hot, uh, oh no, it's gonna be another one, I almost forgot. Uh, for how we're gonna serve it. I do like, I saw it, it's not my idea, but recently I saw one of the guys, he just toast rye bread. If you can get, it's a really interesting way to serve it. Make like a, like a little chips, okay? Maybe not that little. Give him good toast, okay? So, okay, let's try. Now, all that thing should work. Take your bowl, yeah, cover it like that. Okay, and that should be. Oh, yes, it works. It works. Okay, so this is here. Then we have to put some of our lovely potatoes. Okay, we get egg, more egg. This one in the quarters. Try to have it. Toaster. This is gonna be for you, bloody Michelin star uh, thing, uh, decoration.
So our soup is nearly, nearly ready. Just uh, I've got them toast, or rye bread toast, which I put in toaster. Yeah, just rub it with the fresh garlic. Not too much, a little bit, okay? So I just don't want to ruin my lovely thing. But I will eat it a bit separately. Okay, so now I know it tastes already, but we have to do it for them. For the show, yeah. Oh God, I get hot, isn't it? Oh, right. So this is really good. They're refreshing. Wow. It's very, very good soup, guys. Simple, full of vitamins, and like I make a joke for my son, it's a live forever soup, anyway. So I want to say, try it at home, you know, and then comment what you think about it. Thank you very much for watching us, you know, if you're watching us. If you're not, please give a try, because we're really working hard to make more videos, and we're really, really, we're enjoying it. Anyway, not all of us. Uh, the man behind the camera sometimes get a bit lazy but we push 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 thank you so much please press like subscribe anything anything and um, I'll see you next week again thank you so much and bye bye